Welcome to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire live trivia show. My name is Genevieve and as always I'm delighted to have you here tonight because the international variants of this well-known game show has been aired across 130 countries worldwide. And tonight you're just 15 questions away from equally sharing your grand prize, 1,500 US dollars. So, the rules are very simple. You're gonna have 15 questions with four possible options to choose from, A, B, C, or D. So if you manage to answer correctly in a given time, you're gonna be able to take a step closer to equally shared grand prize. Also, if you're not sure the correct answer, you can use one of the two lifelines. 50 so if you choose 50-50, we're gonna be removing two of the incorrect answers away. And if you ask the audience, you're gonna be able to see what other players are choosing for their answer. So ladies and gents, I wish you very best of luck. You know the rules, you know the lifelines. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? All right, once more, pleasure to see you all joining us here. So let's begin our show. Here comes the first question. What is bouncing the ball called in basketball? A, dribbling, B, dashing, C, dancing, or D, dotting? Well, ladies and gents, I'm pretty sure, as per usual, first one comes an easy for you. So the correct answer, are you ready to find out? Or let's say it together, of course, it's dribbling ladies and gentlemen a is the correct answer and i'm glad to see the 1674 if you're answering correctly all right well time for the second question let's go harry potter's pet hedwig was which creature a mouse b owl c cat or d snake well i'm pretty sure harry potter's fans <laughs> should know the correct answer well, guys, time is up, so let's find out the correct answer is... Yeah, you were totally right, Flair, it's B, Owl, of course. Congratulations, guys, you're answering correctly. Well, two questions down, plenty ahead of us. Let's go. In which year did the Titanic sink? 1912, 1993, 1999, or 2020? A, B, C, or D, ladies and gents. All right, time is up. Answers are locked in. So the correct answer is A, of course, it was 19. 12. Congratulations, guys. 1,537 of you got it right. Well, next question in command. Here we go. How many pieces are on the board at the start of a game of chess? A, 8, B, 16, C, 24, or D, 32? How many pieces in a game of chess? Well, time is up. Let's have a look, ladies and gents. The correct answer is D. There are 32 pieces, 16 pieces on each side. Congratulations, guys. Well, let's go further for the fifth question. In mythology, King Midas turned everything he touched into which substance? A. Gold B. Wood C. Straw or D. Water Everything he touched into which substance? Well, ladies and gentlemen, let's see if you got that one correctly. So the right answer is a, gold, congratulations, 1,263 of you still fighting for that equally shared grand prize. And don't forget, Lifelines 5050, ask the audience to help you find a correct answer. Here we go, sixth question. Honshu and Hokkaido are two of the main islands which make up which country? A, Philippines, B, Cuba, C, United Kingdom, or D, Japan? Honshu and Hokkaido, the main islands of which country? All right, interesting. Let's see, ladies and gents. The correct answer is D, Japan. Good job. Actually, almost everybody also got this correctly. Wow, seventh question, best of luck. 
How many vowels are there in the English alphabets? A, three, B, five, C, seven, or D, nine? Well, I do know there are 20 vowel sounds, but how many vowels are there? Well, ladies and gents, the correct answer is B. There are five vowels in the English alphabet. Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen. Well, it seems like we're halfway there, ready for the eighth question. Here we go. If a dragon was hidden, what was crouching in the English title of a 2000 movie? A. Lion B. Leopard C. Panther or D. Tiger Well, have you seen this movie? Then hopefully you know the correct answer. Well, I think you might be right, <laughs> Flair. So here we go. The correct answer is Tiger. Congratulations, 1050 of you still fighting for the grand prize. So, nice question. NASA's Perseverance rover landed on which planet in February 2021? Was it A, Mars, B, Venus, C, Jupiter, or D, Mercury? What do you think? NASA's Perseverance rover landed on which planet? Well, it seems like it's gonna be A. Mars is the right answer, ladies and gentlemen. Congratulations. Well, we still have six more questions. I do wish you best of luck. If you are casting off, purling or working stocking stitch, what are you doing? A. Reading B. Dancing C. Knitting or D. Gardening well, I'm pretty sure there is kind of a hint in a question. It's... Well, ladies and gentlemen, the correct answer, let's find out. And it's gonna be C. Nathan, congratulations, ladies and gentlemen. Well, it seems like this was quite easy one for you, for sure. Well, if you still have some lifelines, 50-50, ask the audience. We have far more questions. Let's go, ladies and gents, 11th question of the show. If your suitcase is tagged with DXB, where are you headed? A. Dubai B. Paris C. Shanghai or D. Los Angeles DXB Well, do you travel a lot? Well, if you do I sure hope you have ever visited Dubai. So Dubai A is the correct answer, ladies and gentlemen. So 992 of you still have a chance for equally shared grand prize. Let's go. Twelfth question. Funnel web and black widow are species of which creature? A snake, B leopard, C shark, or D spider? Snake, leopard, shark, or spider? Funnel, Web and Black Widow. I'm pretty sure there is a hint in the question as well as for you, ladies and gents. So the correct answer is D, Spider. Congratulations. Awesome, guys. Just take three questions away right now to equally share that grand prize. So we should very best luck. Here we go. If you lie under oath in court, which crime have you committed? A, arson, B, embezzlement, C, perjury, or D, bigamy? B, C, or D. Is that your final answer? Well, I sure hope you have never ever done that. You can actually get up to five years in prison in USA. It's perjury. So, ladies and gentlemen, seize the right answer on that 13th question. Well, two more left. Here we go. In 2019, Santa Marin made history when elected as the youngest ever prime minister in which country? A. Finland, B. Iceland, C. Denmark or D. Norway? Well, Sarah Marin actually was 34 years old when she became the youngest ever prime minister and she's from Finland. A is the correct answer, ladies and gentlemen. Congratulations. I really hope that lifeline was useful. Well, if you have any left, might be time to use it. The final question of the show. Here we go. In 2020, Katy Perry had a baby girl with which famous actor? Johnny Depp, Ryan Gosling, 
Leonardo DiCaprio or Orlando Bloom? A, B, C or these? That's your final answer. Answers are locked in, so let's find out how many of you answering correctly to every single question of the show. And the correct answer is D, Orlando Bloom. They had a baby girl named Daisy Doe Bloom. Congratulations, we do have 900 lucky winners, equally sharing a grand prize of 1,500 US dollars. What a pleasure, guys. Congratulations, everybody who managed to get till the end. And most importantly, I sure hope you had a lot of fun here tonight. Well, thank you so much, ladies and gents. Don't forget to check out rest of the Who Wants to Be a Millionaire live game shows around here. And uh, surely, can't wait to see you tomorrow, same time, same place, with Jenna Weaver. Once more, going to be testing your knowledge, general knowledge, are the topics for our trivia shows, uh, well, each day. Well, congratulations once more, lucky winners. Thank you so much. Have a great evening. Good night.